Hey guys, I'm driving Mike back again here. <laughs> back at the old 1854 house. And uh, I'll tell you what I did. It's a Thursday and we were here Monday and did pretty good. And I just hunting with the amphibio here and the multi. And well, I'll tell you what, I got a scratchy signal, but you know, there's something about it that sounded good. And down here in the hole was this. I thought, wow, you know, I got a piece of junk, old piece of iron and stuff, you know, and I thought, well, but it sounded good enough to dig at times, and I just over beside the hoe and my deal, I was getting ready to fill my hole back in, and look what I popped out. Got me a weedy head. What well, was a terrible signal, though, but I can see why with that iron in there, or whatever that can lid is. See if we can get a date real quick on it. Boy, it's cold out this morning. That wind is brutal. Down here with that iron or whatever that stuff was down there. Well, it's like a 1930 straight up. All right, that's a good way to start off. Let's find something else. All right, guys, I started over there. And I worked all this right through here like this. There's the big tree. Just got a signal here, and I can see the coin on the edge there. Down about five inches or so. Let's see what it is together. I'm hoping it's another Indian, but I don't know. Let's see what we got here. It's got some greenish to it. Let's see what it is. I can't see it. Oh, it's another Indian. That's four Indians. Wow, 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 wow. I can't believe it, guys. It's unreal. It's an epic day for me. And there's gotta be some silver here somewhere, huh? Let's see if we can date off this one. A three on it, 83 maybe. A little water on it here. Rubbing. I like showing you guys the dates because I want to see them. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. 83, I do believe, isn't it? Or 88. I think it's 88. All right, all right, all right. Man, I am super happy about that. It's number four. Wow, let's get another one. Got to be some silver in here somewhere. All right, let's go on. Guys, we're in a new spot now. I just popped this plug out. This house built in 1900. This is down about six, seven inches here. You see it? Let's see what it is together here. Hoping for a... Indian. Oh, it is an Indian. All right, all right, all right. Indian head that made my day, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving it. Let's see if we can get a date on it. 1897. We will take that all day long, baby. All day long. I am so happy with that. Just think, there was an old wagon road here. 1897 Indian. Woohoo. I'm super stoked about that. Super happy. That right there made my whole day. Down about seven inches. 1897 Indian. Let's go on. Let's see if we can get some more, all right? All right? Beautiful. Beautiful. Loving the Indians. All right, let's find another one. Just had a low tone come in. And I dug it. It looks like another Indian. This is number two. Let's get a date on this one. I need to check this hole again, make sure there's nothing else in it. 
1983. All right. That's number two. Let's see if we can find something else. 1883 Indian. And I'll tell you what, I'm stoked about this. I mean, this is making me super happy. 1883. All right, let's get another one. As down in that same hole, I just popped this one out. I think it's going to be another Indian here. It is. 1900 Indian. That's two Indians in one hole. All right. I scratched that one a little bit. Got Liberty on it. That's a good one. Maybe we'll get a silver or something here. What do you think? All we can do is try. All right, man. I'll tell you what. I'm happy, happy, happy about that. That's three Indians. Let's see if we can get some more. On to the next one. I did get a wheat penny too, so it's three Indians in one wheat. Beautiful. Beautiful coin. Alright, let's go on. Hey guys, down about seven inches down here, pretty deep. Yeah, it was at least at least six and a half, seven inches. I just popped this dude out. That is a carbine pre old bullet. Check that out. Patina's wore off, but look, it's got a two ringer on it. Definitely not a modern bullet. It's definitely an old carbine pistol bullet from the old days. That's a good find. That's really cool. We will take that, throw it in the pile, and we'll go on. I'm really happy to have that. That's a neat find. Don't find a lot of old, old pistol bullets, but that's definitely an old one. Just think somebody fired that probably a hundred years ago. Pretty cool. Love it. I am loving it, loving it, loving it. All right, guys, show you where we're hunting at. Jeff's over there. There's where we're hunting. And there's Jeffy. He's hunting with the Simplex today. I've got the amphibio this afternoon. And it's still pretty cool out and windy. A little rainy out. But we're out digging, so stay tuned. Let's see what else we can get. Guys, so I just popped this plug out right here. And I see my target there. You see it? It's in the plug right there. Let's see what it is. I think it's just going to be a memorial. And it is a memorial penny. All right, keeping it real, baby. Got wheat heads and memorials and Indians all together. That one's just a memorial. Let's see here. 72. All right, let's go on. Guys, I'd worked over around that tree over there, and boy, I tell you what, that's a lot of field dirt. I was digging zinc pennies at like five or six inches. So I come over here where I found these Indians, right in this area, and I've hit it pretty hard. So I'm digging the oddball low tone signals. Let's pop this piece of lead out. It's just a piece of lead, but it's kind of cool. I thought I'd show it to you. You, know, you dig stuff like this, especially on your second time through the yard, and you're kind of wanting to dig some signals. So, pop that out, and we'll go on. Hey guys, I'm Drew Mike back here again today. I'll show you where we're hunting at today. It's a digging Thursday, and uh, Jeff and I are out, and I hadn't found anything yet. That's my first target here, and let me show you what I got. It's gonna be a good day. I can feel it. All right, so my first target here is going to be this buckle. I don't think it's just super old, but that's my first find of the day, so we'll put it in the bag and go on. Hopefully it gets better than this. We'll go on. at a new spot now. Built 1875. I haven't found nothing yet. Just had the airplane go over. Military base not too far from here. Alright, let's see what we can get. You guys check this out. Right there. Looks like it got me a coin. Let's see what it is together here. 
There's the Lincoln part. Oh, uh, it's a memorial. All right. I just dug a wheat penny down about eight inches, so the stuff's really going deeper. I'm gonna have to really listen to it. Let's see what I can come up with on it. Let's see if we can get another one. Guys, I got roundness in the hole, but it's not what I'm wanting. It is a bale seal. Well, it's in really good shape too. Check it out. I guess that's what it is. There's where the holes are for the for the wire to go through, I believe, right there. Ain't got no marking on it though. Don't believe. That's a good find though. Alright, let's go on. Guys, here's my my uh, play play money I found. Ten on it. And it's got a cup, so a ten cup, right? No, surely not. Ten cup. Anyway, play money. Ten something. Alright, let's go on. We'll clean it up here in a little bit. That's pretty cool though. Catch it at the end of the show. Guys, okay, got me first car today. The green machine. Was it Tootsie? Huh? Is it no, it's Hot Wheels, but it's the older one, I think. It made to look like a Tootsie car. All right. Never dug that one before. It's going. It got me a car. My second one here, two holes and two cars. That one is not in the best of shape. Oh, I got a scratch on it. Kind of an ugly paint job on that one, isn't it? All right, let's go on. As getting towards the end of the day here, I finally got me a second wheat penny. And I think it's a 1951. So, bad out of light. Let's see if we can get one more. Hey guys, just popped this out. It was really a rough signal, but looks like it's gonna be a V-nickel. Not sure of the date. I'll clean it up later. All right, let's go on. Ain't got much light left though. Let's see what we get. Woohoo! All right, let's go. I don't know if you can see this or not, you probably can't. I just got me a cuff button from an old war. I believe it would be the Civil War. It's in good shape. It's still got the string in it. I'll clean it up later. It's dark, guys. I'm heading out. Talk to you later. It's Mike. I'm out. Alright, guys. Missouri Mike back again with another exciting wrap up. Let's see what we ended up doing on this trip. Well, as normal, I got my normal zinc pennies up at the top. Got me some clad pennies, clad dimes. And let's see, I got a, some pretty good wheat pennies, wheat heads. I 
1930, 1940 or 53 on that one and I ended up getting a 51 D a nice one 1940 D believe. I ended up with a really neat I found these before uh, play coin for 10 cents Ten, I guess got ten on it. A bail cell didn't have any markings on it, but it's in good shape. No marking on it at all. I guess there's the holes where the wire went through. It's a good one. Got me a carbine bullet from a pistol. It's in good shape. Couple pieces of lead there. Another bale seal here, I believe. It could be just a chunk of lead, but I think it might be a broken bale seal. And I'd ended up with four Indians. 1883 on that one. It's a good shape. 1897. Real good shape on that one. Another 1883, it's 1883 day. And a 1900. Touch that one a little bit. And I got an 1897 V-Nickel. That was one I dug right at dark. Was pretty bad shape, but it down pretty deep. I do see a 97 on it. 1897B. I got this really cool button though. Really in good shape. Eagle button. Thinking maybe that may be Indian Wars button. Which would be 1870s. Well, that thing is in good shape though, isn't it? I am liking that. Alright guys, until next time, this is Mike, and I'm out.